Ahoy there! You must be new here. It's me, Shelly. I'm part of a school called the Finder Fish. As you can see, my submarine is shaped like a fish. It helps me swim around with some of my best fishy friends. We Finder Fish follow our friend, Sandy Shark, who leads us on great adventures to help other fishy friends who are in trouble. Anyone can be a Finder Fish, so I came up to the surface to look for some sea creatures, just like you, to join us on today's adventure. Would any of you like to be a finder fish with me? Yes! Well, bubbling bubbles, you're all going to be great finder fish. I can't wait for you to meet Sandy Shark. He's the friendliest shark you will ever meet. And he leads us on great adventures. We better dive in and find out what he has for us today. As I dive down deep, I like to sing a song along the way. Now, stand up, dive in, and follow along with me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Jellyfish swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a seahorse swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? I see a baby shark swimming near me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Look around, what do you see? Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Let's dive into the deep blue sea. That was fantastic. You can go ahead and rest your gills by taking a seat. Soon, Sandy Shark will be along to take us on a fish-finding adventure. But before he gets here, you need to know the two rules of being a finder fish. My friend Ray is the best at telling us the rules. And here he comes now. Okay, hello there, finder fish. I'm Ray, and here are the rules. Now, rule number one is to be kind. Everyone hold up one fin, that's it, raise them up, and let me hear you say, be kind. Be kind. Now remember, you can be kind by listening to everyone you meet. So if you can be kind by listening, give your listening ears a click with your fins and say, click, click. Click, click. Perfect. All right, now. Rule number two is to be safe. All right, so let me see you hold up two fins this time, okay? And say, be safe. Be safe. That's it, great. Now, as you follow along, you can be safe by keeping your fins to yourselves and staying in your spot. So how about this, if you can be safe let me see you give your fins a clap and then rest them in your lap. Ha <laughs> ha, have a good time. So long. You look fantastic. Following Ray's rules are sure to help us on our next adventure. Speaking of adventures, here comes a message in a bubble. Sandy Shark sends us these when he's coming to take us on a great adventure. Ahoy there, finder fish! Our jellyfish friend, Peanut, got separated from his jellyfish friends when he followed some sneaky squirrel fish to Coral Cove. We need to find Peanut and show him the right way to go. Here I come! Just follow me for an adventure through the sea! I'm so glad you all decided to join me on today's adventure. As you follow along, 
I have a story to tell you from God's Word. Do you finder fish know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. To help you see this story from the Bible, you better put on your special story goggles. Zoop, zoop. Now you're ready. One day, Jesus was standing by the sea. The people crowded around him and listened to every word he said. Jesus saw two boats at the edge of the water. He got into the boat that belonged to Peter. Jesus asked Peter to take the boat away from the shore a little bit. Then he sat down in the boat and taught the crowd of people. When he finished speaking, Jesus said to Peter, go out into the deep water so you can catch some fish. Peter told Jesus, we've worked all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When Peter and his crew put the nets down into the water, they caught so many fish that their nets began to break. When Peter saw this, he knew that Jesus was special, and this was a special thing that had happened. Then Jesus told Peter, come and follow me. From now on, you will fish for people. Jesus didn't actually mean they were going to catch people like they caught fish, but he meant that they were going to follow Jesus and tell people about God's love for them. Friends, here's the amazing part. Peter and his friends left their boats and stinky nets and fish on the shore and followed Jesus. Jesus wants you to follow him too. Here are some ways you can follow Jesus. You can follow Jesus by reading about him in the Bible and doing what he says. You can also follow Jesus by telling others about God's love. And you can follow Jesus by following others who love him too. So here's what you need to know today, Finder Fish. Everybody say this after me. Follow, follow. Jesus. Jesus. And that's exactly what Peanut needs to hear when we get to Coral Cove. Stay close, we're almost there. Oh look, we found Peanut. He looks lost and sad. Let's tell him what we learned today so that he'll know how to follow Jesus. Then maybe he'll follow us and we can help him find his jellyfish friends again. Find your fish. On the count of three bubbles, let's tell Peanut what we learned today. Ready? One bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles. Follow. Follow. Jesus. Jesus. Hi, Finder Fish. I'm so glad you found me. I didn't know that I could follow Jesus. How do I do that? Finder Fish, our friend needs some help. There are some questions that are sure to help us all know how to follow Jesus. Let's see if we can answer them. Can Peanut follow Jesus by reading about him on a cereal box or in the Bible? In the Bible! That's right! Peanut, you and all of us can follow Jesus by reading about him in the Bible and doing what he says to do. I have one last question for you. Can Peanut follow Jesus by following others who don't do what's right? Or by following others who love Jesus? Following others who love Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Peanut, you can follow Jesus by following fishy friends like us who love Jesus and want to help you. Follow us and we will lead you back to your jellyfish friends. Yippee! Thank you, Finder Fish. You're welcome. Sandy Shark, lead us where we need to go. Let's all stand up and sing a song as we follow along.
well, friend. Glad we could help. And that was fantastic singing. You can sit back down and rest your sea legs. That song reminds me of a verse in the Bible. It goes like this. Just repeat after me. Jesus said, Jesus said, Come follow me. Come follow me. Mark 1, verse 17. Mark 1, verse 17. And that's exactly what we learned today. I better get you back to the shore. But before we go, I think some of our fishy friends want to have a race on the way up. Swim along and cheer for the fishy you want to win. And now we've made it ashore. Until I see you again, remember that you and I can follow Jesus. See you later.